Uh, I think we've seen a, a big change in how distal raised fractures have been treated over time, uh, over the past uh, several years. I mean, obviously plate fixation has become much, much more and more common uh, because it's so stable uh, and allows the patients to start moving earlier. Uh, there's certainly lots of papers out showing the success of external fixation or pins, uh, but there's a very good paper you know, comparing plate versus external, fix external fixation versus pins. And by far, I think all these studies show the plates get, be get better much faster, and everything plateaus and equals that after a year out, but you get much more rapidly improved with a plate. So why not put a plate on? I don't want an X-fix sticking out of my hand. Uh, and so I think, I think that's been the big trend. And also, uh, particularly in older patients, I mean, it's been shown now that plate fixation with older bone, uh, the, the plates are very strong and it works. And I have older patients come to me with, with a very bad fraction and say, don't give up on me, doc, just because I'm old. I don't want to be deformed. I want my wrist as good as possible. And with these, with these stronger plates, I think the, the, the older patients are very happy. They can help take care of themselves because they may have bad knees. They may have to help, help some help get, you know, get out of a chair. And they want, to be, they want a good wrist so they can continue on their activities. Because let's face it, we're all getting much more active now, older, than compared to previous generations. So people want to keep, keep being active, being independent, and be able to do things that they, they want to do. The key for us was that if we have an older patient with soft bone, we may keep them mobilized for two or three weeks, because we, even though the plate's so strong, we don't want the bone to crumple over it. So we may mobilize an older patient for two or three weeks. Compared to a younger patient, we may start much earlier range of motion.